kind of holds on to the gold from its roots. So this is the area I'm going to be working, just right around here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to clean up something good and get some of that yellow stuff. So let's see what we can see. I got some tools here that I bought at the hundred dollar store. It's a store in Japan. Whoa. This is my little claw grabber thingy. Uh, I don't know what it's called. But it looks like a nice crevicing tool. Then I've got a, a nail puller, which would be nice to tear apart some, uh, some of the crevices. And then, of course, my little plastic shovel. Mm. Sounds like there might be some rocks underneath there. Okay. Trying to get to the bottom. Trying to find the uh, the bedrock. I don't know how deep the soil is, but if we can get to the bedrock, that's where the gold's gonna be. If there's any gold in this area, because the gold seems to settle. Oh, check this out. That's a good sign. It's a lead sinker. Lead is heavy. Not quite as heavy as gold, but if I can get a lead sinker out of here, then there might be some gold. That's a really good sign. Oh, the water's a little bit cold. And there's not a lot of soil in here. It seems like I'm getting just a bunch of... Uh, Bunch of gravel. Bunch of little river rocks. Whew. The water's really cold. That looks good. Uh, let's take this to the water and see if we can't pan something out of it. That's not good. So I've got my classifier here. This is where all the big stuff's in. And then I've got my gold pen underneath it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it here in the water and keep it all in the water and I'm going to shake it. Making sure that I keep the uh, gold pen underneath because if I don't, all the work is just going to be all for naught because the gold will just fall out of the pen into the water and then I won't have anything to pin. So what the classifier does, it gives me the ability to get rid of the big rocks and uh, the bigger stuff so that I can get down to the, to the good soil where the gold might be. You don't want to take these for granted, because you never know, you might have a piece of uh, gold in here, in these river rocks. I don't see any. But they're very nice rocks, that's for sure. Put this over here. Okay. And this is what I'm left with some of the bigger stuff. So I'm going to work these out, pick out the big the big rocks that obviously are not gold. And uh, start working through this. Shake it, shake it, shake it. The reason you shake it is you want to get that gold to settle down to the bottom. If there is gold, then you can start to
scraping off the top. Oh, the water is cold. Now they say you want to keep your pan in the water. So you don't lose this stuff. I should have brought my uh, smaller screen. I have one smaller screen. That I also bought at the end store. Okay, so I'm working out the, to try to separate the big stuff from the small stuff. Right now the pan is too heavy to really swirl it around and try to get rid of the big stuff. Because of these heavy rocks, these heavy rocks are just going to drag the small stuff with it with the little stuff. There we go. classifying really nice. Let's see if we can see anything right now. I see some fool's gold. Let me see if you can't see that. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, hold on. Let me find it. Oh. Oh no. Oh, right there, son. Let's see. If you can see that. Right here. See that? That's what they call fool's gold. All right, let's keep working this pan. See what we can find. Another lead sinker. So if I'm keeping the lead inside the the pan, if there's gold in there, I'm probably going to keep the gold in there. So that's a good sign.
where there's little pieces of quartz in here. Watch, let me see if I can find a little piece of quartz. That's always a good sign. There's also a bunch of little flakes in here, but that look like gold, but I'm quite certain certain that they're not gold. There's just little flakes of fool's gold. See that one right there? I'm going to try to take this one down just a little bit more because there's a lot of black sand. Well, there's a bit of black sand in there. That's pretty neat. Alright, so I'm working on my second pan. I decided to clean up the area over here next to some, uh, some of these weeds. And I decided to dig up some of the roots. Got my pan over here. The pan seems a lot more. I'm pretty more. Uh, I'm much more optimistic about this pan than I was about the last one because it's a uh, has a lot more uh, heavier sand. Look, you can see some yellow stuff in there, but uh, also there's some nice pieces of quartz in here. There's one little piece that I'm gonna save. Uh, it has like a bluish tint to it. It's pretty neat. But uh, I'm gonna work this one out and see. Uh, what we find. Well, I guess there's a reason the uh, great Spokane gold rush hasn't been discovered yet. I guess it's because there's no gold in Spokane. At least, maybe not in this area.